So underneath the bottom of the new unit, the old one would be the same. There was a little cover here. And underneath that, that's where the wires, the connecting wires are. And then you also see there's a ground, a ground right there. What's up, buddy? Um, so I'm going to actually slide these up under here and into there. Um, interestingly enough, it came with, it says all you really need is a sc screwdriver and um, a channel lock, I call them. Um, basically to take all the pipes off. So I'm going to use those and my Phillips screw, my screwdriver and wire this new guy up. So um, put this under here and through this and obviously what you'll need is um, you'll need a hookup for an electrical connection that goes on here. I don't know what the little thing is called but the little box that, that crimps the wire so actually now that I think about it, these probably don't go in here they probably stay in here the other wire from the house goes in there um, and then these guys connect under here but there's a little housing the little it's a metal thing that squeezes the wire together um, I'll show you under here what it looks like uh, this guy right here so I'm talking about you're gonna need one of those um, and as I say before and disconnect this this um, and then, you know, the box actually tells you on the outside how easy it is. One, disconnect the old unit. Two, make the electrical connections. Three, install the new disposer. And four, make the plug connection. So, again, I think it's as easy as that, and I'll comment back at the end of the process. But um, no sense in belaboring the process when, as I said, it's just the electric on the bottom, disconnecting this guy, this guy, twisting this with, um, it actually comes with a tool to do that in the kit. So it's almost like an Allen wrench looking thing and uh, that's what you use to put up in here and then twist this guy off and twist it back on. So that's the deal.